Before we get into today's amazing video on PVC boots, huge shout out to Paul Ormsby, Tobias Mace Chader. Massive shout out to you two. Thank you so much for joining my channel memberships. Let's get into today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gabrielle Taylor YouTube channel. I'm Gabrielle and this channel, if you've never been here before, it's all about high heels, it's all about stockings and it's all about me vlogging my daily life. This gum shield from my thing is really hurting. Be right back and take it out. Today is a review video. I have had a delivery from the wonderful, amazing people at Only Maker Shoes. They have sent me some thigh high PVC boots that I am going to review for you all today. I'm going to walk in them, I'm going to review them, and I'm going to show them to you. If you're not already hit subscribe, go ahead and do that right now. Don't forget, I've got Instagram at Gabrielle Taylor One. I've also got OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com forward slash Gabrielle Taylor. If you want to see exclusive videos, pictures, etc., things that I can't put on YouTube, basically, head over there. Do you want to see the shoes? I don't think that you're all ready for what is about to happen. Three. Two, one, all wrapped up. <gasps> Look at these gorgeous shoes from Only Maker. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get these bad boys on. Look at them. Look at the buckle design. They are absolutely incredible. So, Gabrielle, what are you going to do with these fabulously amazing? Boots, I mean, oh. first impressions, the PVC on them, love it. Why do I love it so much? It's so soft, like the PVC on this is so soft to touch. I love all the really fine, fine detail on them. And the inch of the heel is, let's have a little look. If I had to guesstimate, I'd say that is four inches. Things are These are a size 5. My perfect fit is a 5.5. However, I've had only maker shoes before and I always fit in a size 5 from them, if that makes sense. So, some companies I'll order a size 6, some companies I'll order a size 5. These ones definitely, I know that a perfect fit for me is going to be a size 5. I'm going to move my chair back, drive somewhere else where I've got a little bit more um, space around me so I can pull it back and I will show you them. Today I'm just out and about, grab myself a coffee, I'm going to go out, have a little walk around, get some exercise. We are still, 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 still on lockdown in the UK, which is annoying, so I can't really do much. But come out with me while I go and get my little daily walk, my daily coffee, and we will try the boots on. And we will all keep sane together. Give us a thumbs up right now if you are very excited to see me try these on and review these. I cannot wait to show Victoria these shoes. I might do a video next week when she tries them on and walks in them. Trying boots on in the car. The other thing I love about Only Maker shoes as well, and they always come so well packaged so you know that they aren't going to be damaged when they get here, which is amazing. I will put the link, by the way, directly to these shoes down below in the description if you want to go and check out some shoes for yourself. They also do um, Only Maker, a men's collection, so you can get all of the women style shoes in man's sizes, which I think is incredible. Here they are. I'm very excited to see how far these are going to go up my thighs. Very, very excited. They've got such a gorgeous shine to them. And the detail on them is they've got cross, um, they've got a lace detail from just above the toe all the way up. And then they've got this cute little buckle design. And then the buckle, which I think is so much more practical for when you're wearing these shoes, this buckle thing doesn't go across the zip. It kind of just stops where the zip is and then goes. Do you know what I mean? So you don't have to undo the buckle to put the shoes on. I'm so excited to get these on. I have a little bit of stuff them. I'm going to go away right now and put these onto my legs because I just feel like it might be a bit difficult to try and film myself putting them on in the car, etc. So I'm gonna put them on. I will be right back in the boots. 
Okay, so, so far I have got one shoe on. It was nice and easy to put on. Had to redo this little buckle because it was a little bit loose, so I just pulled this tighter. Riddy, riddy. <laughs> Um, retied, <laughs> retied this, and look at them. Oh my, the lights are wrong. Look at them, they are honestly so, so, so shiny and beautiful. They're amazing. Right now, initial impressions. What do you think of my shiny boots? They are both on. Look at them, they are amazing. Such cool little winter boots. Now, the fit test, they fit me perfectly size five. Next test, how comfortable are they gonna be? And to figure that out, we need to get out the car. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up for the first time ever in these shoes and give you straight away my initial impression. Okay. They are, hmm. Actually, surprisingly, very, very comfortable. The heel, even though it's four inches, feels like quite a comfortable heel. It doesn't feel too uncomfortable to walk in. I feel nice and tight on my legs. I think these are gonna be a Christmas hit for me. I think I'm gonna wear them. Christmas 2020, visiting the family in my new PVC only maker shoes. What do you think of these? I'm gonna step, I'm gonna step back over there and give you a walk towards the camera and oh, look how cold it is. It's very cold today. I'm gonna go back there and walk towards the camera and you can tell me, out of 10, how much do you love these over the knee boots? I wanna know. They're actually extremely comfortable to walk in. The only one ma minor, minor miniature downsize is that when I, rub when I walk together, the zips kind of sometimes will rub each other. But maybe I just need to get used to walking the boots because all boots have zips, don't they, on the inside. What do you think about them? Rate them out of 10 down below. Look how shiny they are. They look incredible. I know that these boots are going to look insane on my OnlyFans so I'm going to take some pictures in them tonight so if you want to go and check them out OnlyFans.com forward slash Gabrielle Taylor for exclusive pictures, videos, etc, etc Out of 10 what would I rate these boots for comfort, fit, feel, appearance, everything honestly I'm going 10 out of 10 if you want some PVC over the knee boots for winter, even for summer, I would definitely recommend Only Maker, these ones. So comfortable and yeah, massive thumbs up for me. I want to know what you think about these down below in the comments section. Tell me, did you love them? Did you hate them? Should I wear them more often? Should I let Victoria try them on for a review next week and we will get her in a super cool outfit, me in a cool outfit, and we'll do a joint try on and review of these high heels? Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out my OnlyFans. Make sure you follow my Instagram at Gabrielle Taylor One. And I will definitely see you all for another episode very, very soon. I didn't upload for the two previous days because I was a little bit poorly um not COVID-19 don't worry but I just felt a little bit under the weather so I didn't upload but I'll be back tomorrow for another wonderful amazing video love you all so much see you guys soon Mwah. bye